my day trips lately have been uh, feeling like they're getting cut short. They're not long enough. And so I threw enough stuff in my pack today to be able to stay out overnight and into tomorrow. Um, no real plan, no specific destination. I'm just going to use this as kind of my my wandering lands and uh, um, just see where it takes me. This canyon runs in multiple directions and I've been down in there before. Um, but that, that green that goes up, like there's cliff here and then there's that green and then cliff. If I shoot up through that green area, I can get up on top of this, which is kind of like, it's like a, it's surrounded by the wash. Um, so it's like a little peninsula sort of. And uh, it's hard to get up on there because um, it's so cliffy around. So I'm kind of thinking of dropping down in here and then coming up so I can be up on top of there and then I can explore along that area, maybe sleep up there tonight. Um, I don't know, might be a start. So I made it down here to the wash. Um, up here and around the corner is where I saw that that uh, possible way to get on top of this stuff. So I'm gonna peek at that and see if that's still something I wanna do. Um, seemed like a good idea, but I'm trying to make sure I'm open to uh, just being here and doing whatever feels feels good at the moment. So I got up on top of this little ridge thing. This is that area I was wanting to get on top of. Um, so I'll probably explore around on this stuff for a while. Probably sleep up here tonight. It's kind of a cool little place and it's kind of um, its own little island. So I think I'm gonna sleep here for the night. Just up on top of this, nice little overlook. It's not exactly what I had in mind. Um, 
I was kind of wanting to go a little further, but the terrain didn't pan out the way I thought it was going to. And so in order for me to get further on, um, I'd have to be moving into the night. So I'd rather settle in while I still got daylight. I'm gonna get my sleeping bag and all that stuff set up. I'm just gonna sleep out here on the ground. Um, so I'm gonna get that set up so I don't have to mess with it later on. And then I can just settle in and watch the night come in. So I found a slightly better place to camp. I'm gonna go just down there to that ledge there. It's a little flatter. It's the other nice thing about having a simple setup. You just pick it up and move it. So I gathered some wood, got some things ready for a fire. Not sure if I'm gonna do one tonight or not, but I don't need it for my cooking or anything, but uh, sometimes it's nice. It's always easier to have it all ready to go scrambling around in the dark. Here goes the last of my sun. Still a little bit shining up on this. Not sure if it's dark enough for the camera to pick this up, but the moon, it's just a tiny crescent up there. Um, I wasn't sure I was gonna see it. I was like, I, I like the moon. <laughs> and uh, I wasn't sure I was gonna see it because it's setting right now. So, um, and since it's as small as it is, I was worried I wouldn't be able to see it until it was really low on the horizon and then I might miss it. But I still got plenty of time with the moon. My dinner's, uh, finishing heating up and I got some Mormon tea ready to go. Had it right up here on the top. I found a plant so I was able to brew up some of that. Then I plan on just trying to be quiet and sit with the night. I like the night uh, the way it falls here in the desert. It's pretty cool. It's cool to be here in a situation like this where I don't need to go pack up and run home and I don't have to worry about scrambling back in the dark. I'm just gonna be here. So I still got probably several more hours before the moon sets, but from this position here I'll get I'll get to see it go all the way down. As long as I keep my fire small like this, which is plenty big enough for me and just keeping some light and keeping some warmth. 
Should be able to sit out here with the fire until the moon goes down if I want. Stars are coming out. I got my stuff packed up. I'm gonna head out of here and find some shelter somewhere nearby so I can eat some food. This place is cold with the wind going right now this morning, so um, might be able to pop over the over this other side of the ridge. There might be something over there. I'll check it out. came up over the edge of that ridge there. I was hoping this side would uh, be blocking some of the wind, but it's it's just scooting right around this, so I don't think I'm gonna get out of the wind unless I uh, drop down a little bit further. Which I think I might do. I'm not sure if I escaped the wind or if it just quit on me. But either way, I need some food. So yesterday when I was hiking up here onto this spot where I slept last night, I um I didn't think that I was going to be backtracking today uh, because I thought I could get up over the other side of it. Um, I was uh, mistaken on where I thought I was, which isn't a big deal. I just got to find my way back. But there's not a whole lot of ways to get up here, so there's not a whole lot of ways to get back down either. Um, again, it's not a big deal. I'll just wander around here. But uh, every time you go down, because of the way the train is, um, if it, if it ends in a cliff and you can't get down it, you usually have to hike back up. So you just end up using a lot of energy. I got one liter of water left, um, which should be plenty with the temperatures as they are and the, the amount of time I think it'll take me. I can refill, I can filter water down in the wash once I get down there. So that's the goal now, just to find my way down into the wash somehow. And then I'll meander from there. So this isn't uh, a way down, <laughs> but I can see down into the wash now, and I think way over there, I think I recognize that rock. I don't think I was ever in this part of the wash. Could be wrong though. I'm gonna head this way. So I found a little uh, draw that kind of runs off through here and so far it isn't cliffy um, just kind of runs through this and it looks nice and gentle and innocent but it um but you never know when they're gonna run into a cliff or something um, and then you gotta backtrack up through all this stuff a possible route right there but I passed on it 
Um, it looks like it might be not exactly what it appears to be. Um, and uh, there's a hawk. Red-tailed hawk, I think. Um, sorry, I got distracted. Uh, yeah, passed on that one because um, it looks like it might be have some tricks to it, and it also uh, is gonna get pretty, sh pretty shrubby. That's not good. So I'm gonna have been skirting along here, drop down to something I saw over here. I'm hoping this works out. So here's my next option. Scoot down through there. It reaches the wash, I'm pretty sure, but it, um, I'm trying to figure out where I came up at. I don't think it was this. I think it was further that way. I just don't remember hiking that far. <laughs> um, I came out here kind of to intentionally let go of those different obstacles and parameters and things. Um, bring in my overnight stuff to be able to come out and stay as long as I want and uh, not have to think about when I gotta leave. Um, I guess I let go of, of more than I meant to. <laughs> um, but yeah, this might work. I think I'm gonna check over here too though. See if there's something better. So I've been uh, enjoying my time up here and stuff, especially last night. I really liked sitting by the fire, watching the moon go down. That was cool. Seeing the stars go come out as I was going to sleep. Um, there's something. It's I mean nature helps me so much uh, when I when I'm out here. It just helps me get out of my head. Helps me everything's clear just very good for me but every now and then I just get in this weird thing and I um, trying to find a way around it but also trying to accept that it's something that might sort of come and go just as part of how this stuff works I don't know but uh I mean, I'm out here beautiful place um, exploring the whole day ahead of me no re nothing really pressing on me to do this or that um but i'm just like i don't know just just kind of in a weird emotion kind of angry <laughs> there's nothing to be angry about and sometimes i've gotten that because i'm like too stuck in my head and i can't get out of it um i feel like i did okay getting out of my head i feel like i'm i'm being here and present and all that but I'm just, um, I don't know, sometimes there's just those times, I guess, that uh, kind of strike out. But I'm going to keep keep going. Like I say, I'm getting little moments here and there. Sitting by the fire last night, watching the moon. That was good. Um, Uh, you know, sometimes I come out and once I take a few steps to get into that present moment and, and to be aware of my surroundings, from there on out, it's it's a it's a good experience. Um, but other ones, kind of like this one today, seems like it's a little more flickery. It's in uh, it's in pieces, comes and goes, and I can't really tell what it is that I'm doing that's making. Uh, making things not work sometimes, but I guess maybe it's just one of those times where I got to make sure I'm hanging on to the good moments. This is a pretty good moment here. Check this out. You can hear the water down there and the the lights reflecting off the water surface. Pretty cool. It does nothing for me as far as a way to get to the wash, though. That is not going to work. But I'm heading this way.
That is not the way down either. I was heading down this thing, but it's not looking so good anymore. Just trying to go down that little channel there. I thought it might have potential, but that is not a good way to go. There was like these rocks. Anyway, it was terrifying and a long ways down. So I'm backtracking now. Back this way. So I'm striking out pretty hard over in that direction. It's all very high and very vertical. So I'm gonna backtrack to that last spot that actually looked somewhat promising. We'll give it a try. All right, I'm gonna give this one a try. If this one doesn't work though, it's gonna be because I run into something well beyond my view here. And that's gonna be a long backtrack. But that is the game that I am playing. So we'll play.